Hello, hello, welcome back to the Technical SEO Basics short video series. Today, we're going to give a very, very top level introduction to JavaScript and how JavaScript can affect SEO. And then in the future, we will cover some more videos on JavaScript and other concepts such as rendering and also tackling some specific JavaScript frameworks. So JavaScript is a widely used technology that empowers and powers many features on websites, both websites which are just pure JavaScript and also some JavaScript features on other platforms and other coding languages. In SEO, JavaScript can often face a lot of criticism, um, especially five, six, seven years ago. It was a lot more difficult to work with. Uh, Google didn't introduce dynamic rendering, which we'll cover in more detail in a future series, until probably about 2017, 2018. Now, web developers typically use HTML, CSS, and JavaScript to build websites. Among these, JavaScript is the only programming language allowing for more advanced and custom functionality, such as online calculators, comparison tools, and other dynamic user elements. Um, however, for these to actually work, the browser needs to work harder to display these, and this is of in comparison to HTML and CSS. This can sometimes lead to a poor user experience, but from a search engine perspective, in order to process that JavaScript, Google has to use a secondary crawler. So as we covered in an earlier video, when Google first comes to your site, it starts to download HTML elements. Then when it detects JavaScript, it calls for the secondary crawler, which is the web rendering service. The web rendering service, WRS, comes, loads and renders all the JavaScript elements, and then Google crawls the URLs and the internal links and other components found in that JavaScript crawl. So in your career, um, you'll likely come across a number of JavaScript frameworks. Some of the more common ones you'll probably face more often are not are React, Angular, uh, Nuxt, which is a popular framework for creating Vue.js applications, Vue.js itself. Um, next, Svelte. Uh, Gatsby, Express, and Ember. Now, there's many, many more out there, but they're the more common ones which I come across on a well, more prominent basis. So when is JavaScript actually bad for SEO? So it's firstly important to actually acknowledge that JavaScript, when implemented well, can be a positive element of any website. There's a number of JavaScript-based websites out there that perform brilliantly, and there's a number of JavaScript websites out there that didn't have that correct SEO input at build, or don't have that correct SEO input currently, and they don't perform as well, and, and thus they have a lot of latent potential. Poorly implemented uh, JavaScript can really degrade user experience, impact rankings, impact Google, can help can crawl your site, and impact how many can rank it. So there's a lot of JavaScript on your site that's not optimized. You can also face user experience issues, like I said, so slow loading times, poor page speed, core web vitals. Yeah, it's not great. Um, this is a concept called render blocking, which we'll cover in a future kind of video. So how can you actually understand if JavaScript is harming your site or causing issues? Well, there's, there's two different ways, in, in my opinion. First of all, you can actually look at the rendered HTML response versus your browser response and how Google's processing is. There's a number of different tools you can use to actually find this. Uh, in the video description, I've linked to a few articles kind of covering this and how you can do these manual tests. Typically, if you are having major JavaScript issues, however, you'll see this in Search Console, you'll see this in third party tools, and you'll see this in essentially your own organic performance, because you'll be kind of asking yourselves, well, we're doing great content, we're doing great things, but why aren't we getting the same reward in Search? If you're JavaScript based, it could be a technical issue relating to JavaScript or how you're rendering. Then you can also use things like PageSpeed Insight tools to look at real-time diagnostics, uh, look at different elements there. Um, and also there's a number of, depending on your platform, there might be plugins available and different elements. So to take that in board, is JavaScript bad for SEO? Now, I've had this conversation a lot um, over the past few years, even in recent weeks, and the, the simple plain answer is no, not always. As I said, when used and implemented correctly, JavaScript can really enhance and be a powerful tool for websites to build on and provide great user experiences and great content accessibility and be a real feather in the cap for any business running that site. It's important that you actually implement it correctly and you have that technical side again, please check out the links in the description below. So this has been a very top level introduction to JavaScript. 
um, as a technical feature. There will be future videos looking at um, specific how to check rendering, uh, JavaScript for Angular, JavaScript for React, etc., like that. Um, but for now, this is just an introduction and some paths to kind of move and go down further. So if you enjoyed this video, please drop a like and subscribe to the channel. And I'm hoping you're enjoying the technical SEO basic series thus far. Thank you very much.